Hi, I'm Nigel uh, from London. I'm the guy that bought Dalek Mac from Rob last year. Um, unfortunately, when I did just buy him, I couldn't really do much work to uh, Dalek Mac uh, due to work of my, myself, what I do, and um, basically my job. So that got in the way a lot. But anyway, um, I've been doing some work on him now. Um, he's had a new eye stalk, uh, new ear frames. I've changed the, the light to an LED light and the battery's been changed in the head to a 12 volt which was before it was running on AA batteries. Um, Rob done a lot of work with him for the years that he had him and uh, a lot of charity events and basically I still want the character of Dalek Mac to stay alive so he's, he's still about it or he will be about. Um, I have been doing a lot of work to him over a period of like the past uh, month or two. Uh, which I will show you in later videos um, but anyway I'm going to move on to showing you how I've done the, the eye stalk so let's move on to the next video Hi everyone um, I'm now going to show you what I've done to the eye stalk I've just done taking the screws off just to save a little bit of time anyway I'll take the front off and right, basically um, there was this um, plastic lighting that was in on the inside of the, the eye stalk that was on the other eye stalk and uh, it was a bit sharp on some edges so I grinded it down on the machine and basically stuck it in. I've put another bit of glass on the, on the other side of there which is rounded so it gives you that nice rounded bit of glass on there on the front which a dialect normally does have. And um, these are the inners. This is what I've done but you've got an LED light there which I'll just get a torch to show you. There's a little tiny LED light which have got five LED bulbs on the inside there and basically this is just basically a piece of um, MDF here which I'm going to unscrew now and just show you so what I did a bit awkward trying to do it with holding the torch but see the inside right there's basically uh, uh, a two millimeter fit of MDF um, glued to the back with a bit of hardened nails all around the edge there as well and basically put some bolts through and glue the bolts on the other side so you put the nuts on and basically that can go back on and uh, just cut the nuts either side to basically when you push that on you just put the nuts back on at the front if you know what I mean and uh, that will just stay there in place but um, what I did do is put a bit of velcro on these connectors either side so they can just be pulled off like that and basically what you can do is I'll just show you is with these connectors, connectors you can pull that one off pull that one off and then one that's already been pre-made just plug that up if you want to change the colours that is just put the velcros back up there to hold the connectors in place and basically I'm not going to change the bulb around on the other panel but it just, just unscrews because it's got a plastic screw on the back it just goes through the hole which would be that one there and unscrews and you just screw that one back into place so basically what it does is you can either have a blue one or a red one and it's pretty easy to do just quickly pull it off if you want to change it again and just unplug and put the other plug in like so just lift the dome up, I'll show you the switch where it is in a little while and that changes it to the blue one just put the velcros basically just doing that lets it keep the 
wires out of the way so you can just put the panel back in. I did use um, the foil tape as well. Um, I suppose just to give it that little, look, uh, little bit of glow as well on the inside when the light shines. And it really does look really effective when, it's, uh, when it is all lit up. Just screw those back on. I'll show you it all lit up in a minute and move on to the next video. Okay, I've now put the eye stalk back together and um, we'll turn it on. And there you go. That's with the eye turned on. Turn it back off. Move on to the next video and what I'll do is I will show you the inside of the and the battery holder and everything else. Okay, moving on that. Um, basically, this is the switch that I fitted. Two live wires coming off of there. One going to the actual LED light and the other live going to the alarm battery. And um, obviously um, the earth that comes off the light goes to the battery. And basically just here, <coughs> just underneath the, the panel that, where it sits on top of the next section, uh, basically just a bit of plywood fitted underneath there, a couple of screws either side, counter seat them as well so obviously when, when, it, when the, the dome sits on the next section the wheels don't interfere with the, um, the holes there or the screws. No. They, they're nice and clear so they don't touch and basically made a bracket on the inside and um, basically put some velcro straps as well to help to hold the battery in place and it's fine and also as well which I did do um, I did run a um, run it off uh, a 10 amp fuse as well which I'm just going to take this apart and I'm just going to show you moving on to the next aisle um, this is uh, the basically uh, the, the panel that I made for the alarm battery. It is pretty simple really, just a bit of um, plywood and I've got some metal brackets uh, either side of the battery uh, which I've helped to glue down and um, just some uh, uh, a bit of wood either side as well uh, which I screwed down and glued just to help to hold the battery in place. And just these um, velcro straps as well because that helps to hold battery in place as well and basically what that does is <coughs> that oh by the way there's the fuse that one's on the live it's a 10 amp and uh, if anything happens at least the fuse will blow and just change the fuse but <coughs> if I plug it up there's the earth and there's your live as well and basically that will go nicely underneath there like so and then screw into place there with the bolt I'm not going to do it in now but uh, screw it in there I will we'll do after moving on to the next okay I've now put it all back together and as you can see the panel is underneath there, it's put back underneath, the battery's still there, switch turns the light on and off, and there you have it. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully um, show you some more of what I've been doing with Dalek Mac. Bye for now.